Alright lads, so today we're going to be tackling a new guild quest. In this case, we're going against the no affiliation hard difficulty guild quest. Now, before we do start the video, I want to just emphasize how long. This video is probably going to be 5 minutes long, but it took me hours, hours to make. Because what I did try to do was showcase one, this team, and showcase another team which consisted of three SP characters, Yoroigi Soifon, Burn the Witch Noel, and also Abakichigo. It took me like three or so hours to reroll that team because I needed to get new accessories, reroll those accessories. Obviously, doing one at a time, it takes so long. I was getting very, very unlucky. And then I spent like an hour or two trying to reset, and nothing worked. I couldn't get to the final boss. It just wasn't worth it, and I completely just wasted my time. Five hours just to make a guild quest team that didn't even work. So instead, I'm showcasing this easy team, a team that I've been using, a team that can beat it relatively quick, not as quick as an SP, a triple SP team that, you know, can nuke to the final boss, but this is still a pretty good team nonetheless, and for the most part, until like last week, this was the best guild quest team that you can make for the no affiliation week. But since then, we now have the new Christmas Noel, who definitely would replace the Arp Go if you are just using a traditional guild quest team with one SP character, two net characters, replace Arp Go with Noel. If they're all 5 5, you're gonna play very quick. But of course, a triple SP team, all 5 5, and stuff like that is always the best thing to do because you can potentially clear the guild quest in like less than one or two seconds. Unfortunately, though. Honestly, I'm not a fan of those teams anymore. I'm actually getting really annoyed at Guild Quest because right now I'm trying to also farm. I'll, I'll get to the point. Listen, I'll get to the video in a, in a second. The run. I'm also trying to farm IT, IZ. I'm trying to farm Epic Raids and also Extreme Cop this week. And I spent like the last four hours wasting my time trying to make a Guild Quest team. So I'm completely done with these triple SP teams trying to clear in, in under two seconds. I, I'd rather just use a team like this that can clear in 10 seconds. So that's what I hit the showcase today. Little run aside, I apologize. I'm actually. <laughs> Ah, um, it's driving me insane, it's driving me insane. Anyway, anyway, let me quickly explain the team and the full process of why we're using these three characters. So firstly, we have our Pikachu Very good character overall. Um, obviously, I am very fortunate to have him 5-5 five five with 1,000 additional SP. So he's obviously going to be our main character. Whenever you're building a hard difficulty team in Guild Quest, you always want to use your main SP character. And he's one of the best ones for that because he does, for starters, have like 60% Berserker. Hit very hard to begin with, especially when Max Transcended. But his Soul Bomb does have Weakening plus Bombardment. So we hit very hard on our Soul Bomb and that's very important because our soul bomb is going to do a lot of damage that's why we're giving the character a bunch of full stam that's what we're giving him weak in defense so our ichigo even though he is going to be hitting hard in his strong attacks we're also really prioritizing him to do as much damage as he can when it comes to his soul bomb and that's why we gave him a tension tie a t set and also a no affiliation killer sticker and then for the links we've just given him free full stam links to, just does the job right just does the job next up we have why Ichigo, who's also going to be featured in the post selection in less than a week's time. Very good Nat character overall for this GQ. Uh, honestly, I have him at 5-5, five five, so at, I don't even have him at level 10 focus. So this team, even though it's it's going to clear relatively quick, it can clear significantly faster if I worked on it. But right now, I have like no resources to do so, so I can't get him to T20. I can't get him to level 10 focus. If I did, I would definitely clear significantly faster, right? But he's immune to fire. This map does have fire, so that's great. He has weak in defense. Not ideal. What I would much prefer is either full stamina or damage to weaken enemies, but him being T15 is basically a throwaway because I haven't really given the best bonus abilities, but he is still getting the extra stats. I've given him uh, three Nad links, one of them being last ditch in case he does die. And then we have a Golden Chappie, Normal Chappie, and also a Sticker. And then for the final character, one of the more important characters for this week, if you are building a team like this, is Masaki. She's a Nat character, hits very hard, but most importantly, her SA2 does provide the team with a shield and a boost. A boost is very important to buff in your attack, because if you don't have a high enough attack, then you do one damage. So she has level 10 attack and focus, she's only T10, so no extra link sorts or abilities. I've given her these accessories, so all 5 in attack. No Golden Champion, unfortunately, just used 200 tickets 10 minutes ago, didn't get it. Today's just been a really un unfortunate day for me. <laughs> And then as for the links, I just get a, a two Nad links, both Max Transcender, so they're given a pretty good amount of attack. And then we have the uh, Tatsuki link, so in case she does die, she gets the revival, and then she can use the SO2 again. So, that said, let's jump into the run. Um, we'll see how it goes. I already got a 14 second clear time. We're going to try and beat that. I'm currently using a controller on Steam. I don't really do Guild Quest on Steam, but we're going to try for it anyway, because the team is relatively simple. I don't have to reset all too much. Uh, we just have to get very lucky on terms of Nad ring. So... Idea is go in, use SA1, SA2, into SA3, and then we nuke here. There we go, right into Ichigo, dodge that, SA1, and we wait for them to do it. Nice and simple. That's what this this is what for starters, that's actually my personal best. <laughs> I, I know it's only in the second day, um, but that's actually my personal best right now. Like eleven seconds. We can definitely go for a sub ten. Had I had a golden chappy on my 
uh, Masaki. Had I given both of them T20, for example, with better bonus, but teams definitely could have done better. But this is this is this is how you do it, man. Honestly, uh, you know, shout out to all the people that. Uh, uh, going through the the triple SP team resetting for hours, my f my fellow guild mates, fellow guild quest players too. I I I'm I'm sorry, man. It, that's that 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 this meta is ridiculous. Like uh, apparently there's talks of a, a new hard difficulty of guild quest coming out. Really hope so because I'm fed up with this triple SP team trying to clear in two seconds. It takes too long. To most people out there, it's like oh you clear in less than one second, that's great. But then you don't know that they probably spent like an hour or so resetting. I would much prefer a team like this that goes in, clears in 11 seconds, first go. Happy days. Anyway, I <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, it's just me, like, complaining about the, the Guild Quest meta. But let me know what team you lads are using for this week. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. And, uh, yeah, uh, see you lads tomorrow for hopefully a Senkamon stream. Because we are, we, I believe I still have streaming rights. So I'll see you lads then. Take care. Peace.